Hello basketball fans and welcome to MRH Girls Basketball. I'm Jackson Corcoran here with my fantastic partner Chance Terrells. We have Sam Peter on camera and Eliza Eggers is our executive producer. Many thanks to them, they always do a fantastic job. Today we have a Tuesday night shootout between the Comets from McClure and your MRH Blue Devils. This is a one game day, the entire spotlight is on these MRH girls. This team has gone through some rough patches, but the light is at the end of the tunnel. They've had some solid performances against Gateway Science Academy, Bayless, and Normandy in the last couple weeks. Chance, what do you think are going to be some keys for the Devils to take home their second win of the season tonight? I think they've got to stay aggressive. That's what the coach has been enforced, the coach has been enforcing, and make sure to stay sharp. They can't get sloppy on these shots. I would definitely agree there. Uh, the coach also said to me that one of the coach Joe Miller said that one of their big keys tonight is going to be limiting turnovers. That has been one of their main issues all season, and they are looking to make sure that they play efficient basketball tonight um, and do do not give up the ball for free. But one of the big things to watch out for tonight is number 34 Ayana Jones, the leading scorer on the season for the Blue Devils, uh, putting up 9.4 points per game on 51% shooting. She is limited tonight due to a knee injury. She will be playing, but she will be on limited minutes and limited role, which could be a major factor for the Devils tonight. We've also got another one of their players, number one, Jalise Wilson, is also limited due to injury. She will also be playing, but once again, uh, has some lower body issues that will limit her on the court. This Blue Devils team is only 1-11 on the season, but has, has shown some real promise in recent games. And we are definitely looking for a solid performance out of them tonight, especially with an opponent that will be sure to play them difficult. Uh, don't let that 0-9 record fool you. The Comets have been playing pretty well this season. They have played some tough opponents pretty tight, and they have put some points on the board. Um, their defense is a bit leaky at times, but they are willing to put points on the board. and. Uh, the Blue Devils are going to have to play solid defense tonight if they want to take on the W. One thing MRH is going to have to look out for is making the mistake of playing basketball with pigs because they'll hog the ball. So I would say, and I would say for McClure, some keys to the game are going to be 
to hold the limited Ayanna Jones under 10 points. She's going to be the offensive key despite her injury. And if you can hold Jones under 10, that is going to go a long way towards win uh, winning the overall battle. She's also very close to getting 100 points, which is something we're going to look out for. Another note, the, the, the Comets have really struggled at times on the offensive glass. They've allowed, uh, at times, 20, even 30 offensive boards in a single game. They need to win those battles and win the rebound battle overall. That's going to be a massive thing for the Comets tonight. We also apologize for the delay. We're a bit late here tonight, but we had some problems in transit, so the second team wasn't able to show up quickly. But the comments are here. We are ready to play. Uh, I believe we'll be doing introductions soon, and we will get right to the action for you here at Maple Richmond Heights Gymnasium. That is Miller, Kiernan, Garno, Jones, and Bolin in the starting lineup. Uh, Bolin will be taking the tip. The freshman is leading the way for the Blue Devils with nine rebounds per game, which is also second best in the South Central Athletic Association Conference. She will take the tip. The Blue Devils are wearing white. They will head right to left on your screens. Comets wearing red, going left to right. Blue Devils win the tip. Jones passes it off to Miller. Garno down low, back to Jones. Quick motion from the Blue Devils here. Miller looking to drive, pulls up. Bat of the way. It'll go out of bounds and stay here for the Blue Devils. One chance, that is the sloppy basketball we were talking about, almost turning the ball away in the first possession. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Basketball players can be really messy eaters because they're always dribbling. Here's Jones. Got number 21 in her face, pass the bowling. Down low to Garneau. Up and in! Garno opens the scoring. 2 nothing, Blue Devils. Good to see a good start off. This is really going to keep the crowd and the players in the game. Looks down the court. Kicked. Right here's Bradley. Down low. Rebound Jones. Here's Jones. Finds Bolin. Looking for options. Comes to Garneau, he's got Kiernan up top, but looks down low to Jones. Jones drives, and foul. Jones is not looking any worse for wear on that injured knee. And she will be shooting too. Summer Harrison and Jayla Hunt down low for the Comets as Jones will take her first shot. Oh, a tough rim there. That's really important. Basketball players are always able to keep their cool because they're so close to their fans. Jones, second shot, up and in. 
It's 3-0 Devils, early lead for MRH. Full court press, no options for the Comets. They're able to get it into Summer Harrison. Harrison running the floor. Here's Harrison, wide open from three. No good off the backboard. Again, we're seeing Mariah Bolin, number 40s, really using her height and her long arm reach to try to block the ball when people are shooting. Nice pass to Miller. Miller finds Kiernan. Down low to Garneau again. Up and good! Four for number 10, Garneau, right off the jump. It's 5 nothing. Here's Harrison. Down low. Foul on Bolin on number five, Latavia Johnson. On the floor right now for the comments, you have number two, Raya Saunders, number 21, Zamaya Bradley, number 15, Summer Harrison, and number 12, Autumn Harrison. First shot, banks in. First point of the game scored by Latavia Johnson for the Comets. Second shot up and good. Two for two from the line for Latavia Johnson. Cuts the Blue Devils lead to three. Jones is able to come up with the pass. Stripped away. And here's Johnson again. Up, no good. Zahava Kiernan wins the tough rebound. Good job there. Outlet pass to Garneau. Garneau finds Bowen, tip to Kiernan. Kiernan kicks out to Jones. Long two, yes! Ayana Jones, long two. The crowd. Great transition play from the Devils. Extends the lead back to five. The crowd are getting into it, even though it is a smaller game. We have a lot of support here tonight. That is off Bolin's hands. It'll be Comet's ball. Here comes Kayla Poole in for Summer Harrison. You may notice that number seven, Ava Kasten, isn't with us tonight. She had to be careful about leaving her house because she was afraid that the ref would call her for traveling. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll be headed the other way, Blue Devils ball. Real solid start from the Blue Devils. They've been playing exactly the way that their coach Joe Miller wanted them to play. Aggressive on defense, force some mistakes, come down and take advantage on the break. Jaden Garneau has been looking especially solid in the paint, scoring two buckets right off the jump. Uh, Garneau has been one of the more reliable scorers for the Blue Devils this year. If you look at the stats, it might only say 2.6 points per game, but Garneau has been a really solid post presence for the Devils and is really reliable. We're still waiting on Mariah Bowen's first rebound of the game. That rebound will put her at the century mark. The freshman will have 100 rebounds on the season. Uh, as we said, she's second in the conference of rebounds. She's use, been using her height to her advantage and has been a great force down low on the defensive and offensive boards. Always good to see someone who can really keep an eye on defense and are not only out there on the field to be aggressive. We got Jalise Wilson coming in the game. You can see she has a taped up knee as well. Um, We've got two key players from the Blue Devils battling injuries, but Jones has looked solid. Let's hope Wilson does too. Here's Gabby Miller, poked away. There's Autumn Harrison, drives, and in. Sorry, that is Zamaya Bradley, not Autumn Harrison. Bradley with the ball again. There's Harrison, shooting for three, no good. It went off of common hands. We headed the other way.
Got pressure from the comments. Release. Kiernan, she's in by herself. Drives, layup, no good. Rebound by Zamaya Bradley. Bradley's looking for options here. Finds Harrison, Autumn Harrison. Tipped away by Kieran. She's been active on defense tonight. Here's Miller. They're looking to find some options. Beats Poole off the dribble. Bolin down low to Garneau. Up and in. Nice pass by Bolin, and that's six in the night for Garneau. Ball intercepted there. Coming into the game is Summer Harrison for Autumn Harrison. Bradley throws it long. There's Hunt. Hunt drives. Miller, good defense, no basket. Now here's Miller. Throws it up. Bowen comes down with it. Here's Kiernan down low to Wilson, tipped away. Ball knocked out there. You really got to be careful about controlling your temper when things like that go bad. I mean, just last year, one of our players had to get sentenced to jail because they shot the ball. Here's Kiernan. Pass is blocked. It is off Kiernan's hands, they deem. Comets ball. Jones back in the ball game. This Comets team likes to sub early and often. They are aggressive with their substitutes. The pass is too long from Bradley, and that ball will head the other way. One thing that is a bit sad about our basketball team is that we don't have a website. I mean, we can't even string three W's together. Ball to Jones, shooting, no good. Rebound grab by McLaren. Here's Bradley, trying to run the break. Kick to Harrison, to, ha to Harrison for three. No good, Jones comes up with it. Miller finds Jones. Jones to Wilson, through her hands, grabbed by Harrison. Travel, it'll stay here, Blue Devils ball. Bowling back in the game. We're still looking for her first rebound. Take her to 100 on the season. Miller will inbound here. Blue Devils set up a box play. Screen for Wilson, throws it up quickly, no good. Kieran is able to grab it and is fouled. Kieran has been playing very well in this game. Despite her size, she's been grabbing rebounds, getting steals, has been very aggressive on defense. Kieran, only a freshman, has looked very impressive at times this year. Uh, has been one of the more solid contributors is able to run that fast break play that Miller wants them to. The first free throw is no good. But she's also, she's just a hard worker on the, on the court, uh, is willing to get in there, mix it up on defense, grab some boards against players much taller. Kieran looking to take the Blue Devils into double digits with her second free throw. Coach Down. might want to consider adding Thieves to his team because they're so good at shooting, stealing, and running. <laughs> Kiernan makes the second half of the two, two free throws. It is 10 to four Blue Devils. Outlet to Harrison. Harrison can't find the ball. Dribbles it off her foot, out of bounds. Blue Devils will take it the other way. Good job on MRH. We're hoping they won't be able to listen to music tonight because they broke all their records. Got a wet spot on the floor. Clear that up real quick. But the Blue Devils have been coming out. This, is, this has looked like some of their best basketball on the season. 
They've been good on defense and finishing on offense. They've had some sh struggles shooting this year. They've been efficient on offense so far today. Miller to inbounds against the Comets pressure. Throws it up to Jones. Bullen will come down with it. Finds Jones. That was tipped by Bradley, I believe. Uh, we'll stay MRH ball. Kieran in the inbound. Goes it up. Wilson has it. And the Comets will come down with it. Harrison trying to take it the other way. Kieran, nice steal. Finds Jones ahead, up to finish, and foul. Another foul on number two, Bria Saunders. I believe that is her second on the night. Or no, they called it on uh, Autumn Harrison there, Autumn Harrison. Ayanna Jones only needs 10 more points to clear 100 points for the season. <laughs> which would be awesome to see tonight. The Blue Devils, after that miss from Jones, are shooting only 40% from the charity stripe today. That was another thing that Miller pointed to. They had to be more efficient at the free throw line. And another miss, but Miller's able to grab the rebound. Looks to put it back up and travels. Good defense there by the Comets to limit after that offensive rebound. Zamaya Bradley will inbound. Looks to throw it long. Bounces too far. Johnson unable to keep that ball in. Collides with some cheerleaders. Definitely an interesting move there to just throw the ball as hard as you can across the court and could have worked too. Just well, bypass all the defense. Bradley has an absolute cannon, but just has not been able to connect on those long passes. Here's Garneau. Got a foul here. On the floor, it'll be an inbound for the Blue Devils. Finds Kiernan, but unable to hold on to it. And here's Bradley, who'll be running the floor. Another long pass, too far once again. A lot of players on the floor tonight really got to make sure to maintain that balance. Keep, pay attention to where your body is and where the ball is. Bradley has been a bit too aggressive in her long distance pass, but here's Garneau, and it's both ways. The pressure is forcing some long outlet passes and neither team has been able to connect yet. Shame to see MRH starting to lose their steam. Got to keep it up there and win this game. Still a six point lead as we head to the latter half of the first quarter. Here's Harrison, is kicked. We got a kicked ball. It'll be Comets ball to inbound. It's like Bradley will inbound. She's inbounded most of the time for the commas today so far. Finds Harrison. Harrison looking to drive. Will kick to Bradley. Pump fake. Could not set her feet in a trap. That's just another reason why basketball players can't go on vacation. Not allowed to travel. Zahava Kiernan goes up to Bolin, able to Game possession, tipped away. Nice interception by Johnson. Harrison did not get over the half court line, over and back. There's been a lot of costly mistakes for the comments early on in this game. That's just another example of that right there. You cannot have an over and back, especially after a nice defensive play by Johnson. You don't want to waste that effort. Kieran releasing, but they'll just go back to Jones. Jones can't find Garneau. Johnson again with the hand in time. Johnson's had a solid start for the comments on both ends of the floor. But Garneau dribbles it off her foot. It'll head the other way. 
After a very nice start from the Blue Devils, they're playing some sloppy basketball in the last couple minutes. They're still holding the lead, but they got to get back to the fundamental ball they're playing in the first couple minutes of this game. Bradley bounce pass to Johnson. Finds Poole. Poole back to Bradley. Bradley to Harrison. Nice steal by Kiernan. J jump ball. Kiernan once again, great anticipation, jumps in there, intercepts that pass. Nice to see someone willing to get in there and risk getting fouled just to stop them from making any points. McClure had the arrow on that jump ball. They will keep possession here. Bradley passes to Harrison. Back to Bradley. All right, look for options. Finds Harrison, who will try and drive. Kicks Johnson too far. Jones with the rebound. Tries to release Miller, but Bradley's able to pick it off. Down low to Johnson, up and no good. Bullen comes up with it. With the cheerleaders in the crowd, hopefully they'll be able to regain part of their energy back. But Bullen, with, with her first board of the game, has reached the century mark. That is Bullen's 100th rebound on the young season. But here's Jones, releases Kiernan. She's in by herself. But travel was not able to set those feet. Took an extra step, that's a travel there. Nice vision by Jones. Wilson coming in for Jones there. Short pass to Bradley. Bradley would look to run the floor here. Beats Miller off the dribble. She'll just look to drive. Garno, nice defense. There's a kick. Switch to Harrison. Who will drive herself. Floater. No. We've got a foul. Looks like an. Samaya Bradley over the back foul there. And Kiernan looking for options on the inbound. Finds Miller short. Poked away. Harrison ends up with it. Here's Bradley who will drive on Bolin up. And one. Nice finish by Bradley. That's a real tough finish with Mariah Bolin in your face, but Bradley did very well there. Bradley can cut the lead to three. This and one. Lane violation. Wastes the point there. That could be a costly mistake from McClure. Could have cut the lead to three with a nice finish from Bradley. But it'll be Blue Devils ball. Finds Kiernan, able to gain control. Kiernan, outlet to Wilson. Wilson will drive, but it's poked away. Bradley comes up with it. Bradley will take it the other way. Settles down at the logo. Finds Harrison. Harrison launches from three, no good, too long. That tipped off Saunders' fingers. It'll be Blue Devil's ball. There's Garno. Tipped by Poole. MRH needs to get their energy back with only four points behind and about a minute on the clock if they can final score if they can score a final basket before the quarter wraps up. They can start making a comeback. Get some of that energy back. Bradley is all in by herself after that steal. Lays it up and in. Cuts the lead in two. And I could not agree with more with you, Chase. They've got to get some momentum here. Score a basket before the end of the quarter. Finds Jones. Jones looks to drive on Bradley, but it stops. Bradley, nice defense, comes up with the ball. The Comets have definitely made sure to stop MRH from passing the ball, making sure to jump up there and block it. And that's something MRH needs to acknowledge and stop doing. Harrison, here's Saunders, back to Harrison. Bradley, for three, 
no good off the iron. Miller comes up with the rebound, we'll hand it off to Jones. We got five seconds left. Down low to Garneau. Puts it up. No good. Too long. That's the quarter. Blue Devils started off this game hot, grabbing a 10-4 lead. But then the Comets were able to grind away, bring it to a two-point deficit by the end of the quarter. Not good to see. In fact, MRH might need a snack. But where do you think a basketball player gets the best food? Dunkin' Donuts. We'll see you next quarter in 30 seconds. The Comets had to be careful. With six fouls, they're almost in the bonus already. The Blue Devils have been much more conservative, only fouling twice. As we head into the second quarter, Jaden Garneau had a very solid first quarter, putting up six points and playing some pretty solid defense. Uh, but the, the player of the quarter for me was Zahava Kiernan. Only got on the board with one free throw, but played some fantastic defense, some great anticipation, was able to fill up lanes, grab a couple steals, and a couple boards. Jaden Garneau is currently leading MRH with six points. Hopefully we'll be able to see some more action on her. Here is Gabby Miller, the sophomore to inbound. Easy pass to Kiernan, one, two, here's Miller. To Jones, the top of the key. Bowen at the free throw line, kicks to Jones, long two, yes! Ayana Jones! She's got five of the night. But is Sierra get back into the fight with the 9.48 points per game average, you would expect her to really start doing some damage to the enemy team. Here's Bradley. Here's Hunt, pulls up. Yes! Finds Garneau. Miller passes to Jones. She'll drive on Richardson. It kicks to Miller, unable to come up with it. Miller looking for options here. Can't find any, but down low to Jones. Foul on Richardson, that looks like. And that will, that will send Jones to the line for the one and one, as the Blue Devils are now in the bonus with the Comets' seventh foul. Comets are really stacking them up quick. Got to be careful. Jones shooting one and one. First free throw is good. Nice to see MRH is getting their energy back. Got a friendly home rim there for Ayanna Jones. That extends the Blue Devils lead to three. That's her sixth point of the night. Now shooting the second half of the one and one. Hounds ball spins it. It's up. No good off the front iron. Grabbed there by Saunders. Now here's Zamaya Bradley. Kiernan in her face. Hunt looks to drive on Garneau, but kicks to Poole. Poole throws it up. It's good. The comments have been really good about grabbing rebounds. And it's showing in their score. They're picking up a lot of shots. Leverage is missing, bringing them down the court and dunking them. And Bradley reaches in on the pass to Jones. That'll send Jones to the line once again. Jones once again, shooting one and one. The Blue Devils are just three for eight from the free throw line today. If the counts are gonna give you fouls, you have to be efficient from the line. Jones, first half of the one and one is up. No good. Hunt with the rebound. Outlets to Harrison. Harrison has pulled down low. Can't find her, but it will drive on Kieran and pulls up. Too long. It is off Richardson. We'll head the other way. If 
Finds Jones, quick pass to Miller. Hunt pokes the ball away, but Miller's able to regain possession. Cool grabs the rebound, goes ahead for Hunt. Miller, good defense there by Gabby Miller. Hunt grabs her own rebound though, finds Poole, it's blocked by Jones, and Jaden Garneau comes up with it. Jones picks up the ball, but finds Garneau, who will take it across the half court line. Be Here's good Miller. to see Jones in the paint, getting more points for the team. And we have a foul call. That'll send number two, Bria Saunders to the line here. That is Bowen's second personal third team foul for the Devils. Saunders will go to the line shooting two. Saunders right handed shot, no good. We've got an eccentric routine here from Bryce Saunders. Whatever, whatever works, works. She'll take the second half of her two shots. Dribbles, bends low, one handed shot is up and good. That will tie the game at 13. Miller inbounds to Jones, back to Miller. Miller keeps it inbounds, finds Jones. Got to get across the half court line, they do. Bolin shuffled her feet there, that's a traveling call. Blue Devils will apply pressure. They have four in the comments end. But they get it in. Here's Hunt. Hunt trying to break the press all by herself. She'll drive. Knocked away by Jones. But it's down low to Destiny Richardson. Richardson backs her down. Misses. Bowen grabs the rebound. Ayana Jones dribbling. Crosses the center line. Nice to see some three-pointers from the Devils. Richardson able to grab the rebounds, cannot stay in bounds. The miss by Garneau, but it'll stay with the Blue Devils. Blue Devils set up a box inbound play. Bowen sets the screen for Jones, it's up and good. Ayana Jones, nice screen there from Bowen, able to free Jones for the pick and pop. We've got a timeout. That was a real nice inbounds play there. Bowen able to set the screen, Jones with the easy finish from 12 feet. During this timeout, let's take a look back in the history. This matchup has happened only twice, once in 2014 and once in 2013. McClure won one of the games with 52 to 39, while MRH won the second game with 57 to 18. Both teams don't have any state championships or district championships but one of the placement games is coming up, so MRH really needs to get some momentum behind their wins. So the Blue Devils did not have a season at all last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. McClure actually did though. They won zero out of their six games. So hopefully we'll get some wins from them too. The important thing to remember, this is all for fun. Got Caleb Poole inbounding here for the Comets. Two point lead for the Blue Devils, 15 to 13. Set the screen, frees Harrison. She'll look to drive. Beats Chandler off the dribble. She'll take it by herself. Puts it up. Fouled by Jones. Will send Harrison to the line, shooting two. McClure is really moving fast down the court and outrunning a lot of their corresponding MRH guarders. So this could be a problem if MRH isn't able to speed up. Both teams are trying to play a high press and a quick transition offense as Harrison makes that first half of the two. That is translating to some high octane basketball early on here. Let's see if either of these teams have the stamina to hold that up for 30 minutes. Second shot, no good. 
Miller can't grab the rebound. Johnson, here's Harrison to Johnson. Puts it up. It's long, and Jones has the board. Almost tied up here. MRH leading with 15. McClure right behind with only 14 points. Nice, nice jump by Richardson, able to po poke that one away, but it goes out of bounds. It'll stay here, Blue Devils ball. Miller looking for options here. Throws it up to Jones. Jones will try and drive, but a stop by Harrison. Down low to Miller. It's up no good, but Bowen with the offensive rebound to Miller. Puts it up and in. Nice move by Miller, able to cut right into the paint with an easy shot. And Bullen, great job with the offensive rebound. That, that full court press coming to fruition for the Blue Devils forces the five second violation, unable to rebound, unable, unable to inbound, sorry. Throw it up to Jones, long two. No good off the front iron. Poole comes up with the rebound. Pressured by Jones. Outlet to Hunt. Can't find it. Blue Devils ball. It's always bad to be dribbling in the movements, ready to go. The ball slips out, and it takes you a bit of time to recognize, oh, it's gone. I need to go back and get it. Happens to the best of us. Miller finds Jones. Kicks back to Miller. Miller has Wilson. She's at the, uh, at the wing there. Here's Miller to Jones. Back to Miller. Turnaround jumper, no. Bowling offensive rebound. We'll kick to Jones. We've got a tough collision between Poole and Jones there. Looks like with their leg, it's harder for her to get up. Jones running a bit gingerly now. Hopefully she's okay. And we've got a travel on Summer Harrison there. Interesting thing to note here, both MRH's Varsity and JV cheerleading teams are here tonight, which is highly irregular. A very large amount of fan support, something we weren't expecting from this game. Thought it might be a quieter one. Yeah, Chance, it really is great to see the support we've got out tonight for the Blue Devils. Uh, we got two teams of cheerleaders, we got the, the home stands are full, they are loud tonight. It is great to see. Always good to benefit both sides of the coin. Here's Gabby Miller at the top of the key. Finds Garneau, she'll drive. Blocking foul. Garneau will head to the line. Foul's on the floor, so it will be one and one. As they are in the bonus. That's the ninth from McClure, really stacking them up. MRH only at four. This could win MRH the game. Garneau's first shot up and good. Nice simple form, right-handed shot, the swishes. Coming in for the floor, number 12, Harrison. You got both Harrisons on the court for McClure. Here's Garneau's second half of the one and one Shot is up and good. Nice shooting from Jaden Garneau. She's got eight on the night. That is matching her season high. She scored eight in the game against the Gateway Science Academy Gators early this season. MRH now leading five points, getting their energy back into themselves. Hopefully they don't lose at halftime though. Some nice demons there from Tori Chandler. Something interesting about Tori, she is a three sport athlete this year. Chandler plays basketball, volleyball, and baseball in the spring. I'm actually one of her baseball teammates. Looking forward to playing ball with her this spring. But a turnover by Garneau, and here's Harrison head the other way. Throws it up for Johnson. Little too far. Johnson tried to make an acrobatic finish, but wasn't able to get the ball up. Always good to shoot for it if you can, though. Try to get a basket up. Even though most of them might not come in, it's always better to try, especially if you're behind on points. Miller calling a timeout here, but I cannot imagine he's unhappy with his players. They have played exactly the way he's wanted them to thus far. They've been, they've forced turnovers, have played some real solid defense, limited fouls, and while they have had some turnovers on the offensive end, they are, they are holding a five point lead as we are in the second quarter here. Maplewood Richmond Heights has played some solid basketball thus far. 
They're looking for just their second win of the season. This really young team has had some struggles, but they are looking solid tonight. Hopefully a good performance tonight can set up some good momentum for two huge conference games coming up the next week. The girls basketball team will play Bayless, a conference opponent on Friday, and then a week from tonight, they will have their one of their biggest games of the season against conference rival Brentwood Eagles. As we come out of the minute long timeout here, the Blue Devils will inbound. We have 315 remaining in the first half of play here. Don't, don't plan on going anywhere, folks. Our halftime show is going to be a capstone project by one of MRH's own seniors. So stick around for that, and that'll be an interesting trip. Yes, be sure to stick around for halftime. As Miller off the backboard, no. Kiernan grabs the rebound, can't finish. Bowler, another offensive board. Kicks to Kiernan. Down low to Chandler, it's up. And good! The senior, Tori Chandler, with a nice finish there. Great work on the offensive pass, and Kiernan picks it off. Can't finish. But Kiernan comes up with it again. Pump fake, no good. Some nice defense by Kiernan there to pick it off on the high on the high press. Here's Harrison, will take it all the way to the basket, no good. Hunt grabs the rebound. And steps over the line, a turnover. Maplewood has a seven point lead here with 2.224 remaining in the first half. Here's Miller running point as she has for most of this game. Down low to Garneau, she's in the corner. Finds Bolin. Bolin spins to Chandler. Half blocks there, and it's rebounded by the comments. Harrison will try to take it the other way. Kicks to Harrison. Off the iron, no. Richardson grabs the rebound. Johnson, it's long. And Gabby Miller grabs the board. Interesting thing to see. Girls MRH team during practice seems to be a lot on focusing on not getting three pointers. So a lot of practicing, dunking, layups, but not very much three pointer action, which is definitely an interesting choice. Jayla Hunt travels there. It'll head the other way. The McClure coaches do not seem happy with some of their team's sloppy play on offense. They've had a bunch of turnovers today. Here's Garneau, passes to Miller. Really aggressive guarding though, that's something the MRH has to keep an eye on. Garneau pulls up, down low to, bowling to the post, kicks to Garneau, but it's long off the iron. Richardson, outlet pass to Saunders, slows it up. Here's Harrison who will drive, Garneau in her face, kicks to Harrison again. Three is no good. Miller comes up with the rebound, and here's Garneau. Garno slowing it down a bit, looking for options here. Miller at the top of the key. Chandler. Nice bit of movement there, but a give and go. But the bounce pass from Chandler was a bit too long for Miller to come up with. About a minute left, hopefully MRH will be able to get one more basket in. Widen that lead just a little bit so they don't come back from halftime with renewed energy. Here's Hunt, pulls up, short. Bolin, nice rebound. Here's Miller, looking to run the floor quickly. Miller driving, here's Garneau. Pulls up shot, no good, the short jumper. But Kieran able to come up with it, force a jump ball. The, but the possession arrow does favor the Comets. Here is Jayla Hunt. Poked away by Kiernan. Kiernan will take it on the break. Finishes. Sahaba Kiernan. The crowd goes wild. You have to make sure to pay attention to your ball. It took a bit of time. Bowler with another steal. Here's Miller. Comes up with it. We'll find Jones. Jones for three. Seven. Yes! Brianna Jones gets from three. And the crowd is going wild. That's the, the first ball. Loving it. 
and the Blue Devils head into the half with a 12 point lead. And it's the first three pointer we've seen tonight and the crowd is insane. What a powerful way to punch out their final quarter. Just heading into the third and fourth quarter ready with renewed action and energy. What a finish to the half. We will hand it over now to our halftime reporter, Avery Swift. Thank you, Jackson and Chance, for that amazing commentary. I'm Avery, and I'm going to be your halftime host today. But you guys won't be seeing much of me since we're going to be watching some senior capstones. Uh, my capstone topic, or I guess uh, it's the implementation of personalized learning in public schools. So my capstone project is about the dangers of AI, particularly how they could affect us in the next 30 years, and if it's possible for AI to have like a consciousness or ability to like think and have morality, and particularly the dangers of if that would happen. My capstone topic is the dangers and misconceptions of electric cars. So a lot of people think that electric cars are the future of green energy and are uh, a green and environmentally friendly way uh, or a solution. And I'm here to basically, uh, I guess, recant that and say that's not 100% true. My capstone is about how music affects the body and the mind. I think it was the essay portion where we had to, well, I guess organizing and making transitions between paragraph to paragraph was kind of hard and also I had to rework it a bunch of times and just swapping out uh, different paragraphs. And it, yeah, I eventually got it down, but yeah. Probably starting and also the product. Starting, like, starting out was difficult because at first I didn't think I was gonna like choose this topic. I kind of had to think about it for a while. And just like getting started, the first couple sentences were definitely the hardest. And also the product was hard. Well, I'm not done with it, but it's just hard like thinking of like a real world application because it's kind of like, I don't really know. I can't like build a robot or anything. So I guess just staying on, on time and just having good time management is definitely something that I struggle with personally, uh, not just with the capstone, but with other big projects. So being able to stay on top of everything and getting to the due dates is definitely the hardest part for me. Um, I would say just how long it takes. Um, it's very time consuming. It's not really that difficult. You just have to uh, really have a passion for your project and really know a lot about it. Um, well, I know I'm going to have to do like similar projects like this on a bigger scale in college. So I feel like this is really getting me prepared for that. And also if I want to like go down a field like a science field or like a machine learning field, then this is definitely like an intro to that. So like I just mentioned with uh, having a good time management, um, of course that's not just with the capstone, but it's with other things that you may have in future careers uh, or aspirations. Just if, if you have a deadline, eat it. Research really is the big part. Um, finding all of the aspects and things you want to talk about in your project and also to uh, be able to tell it to other people in a way that they can understand it and comprehend it and learn something from it. Uh, I have not done my product, but my product is this kind of ethical experiment where uh, I put four kids in a room and have them duke it out. No, no. Uh, I uh, basically, I'm, it's like a standardized test and uh, they just have to take it as like they would a normal standardized test and I'm gonna judge their reactions from peer to peer and 
uh, based off of that information, I would construct another test, and which is more like focus on uh, more focused on the student who's taking it and for their uh, well-being, I guess. I do have I'm, I do have a product. It's I'm currently working on it. Um, I'm going to do a mini documentary about why electric cars are not totally safe or uh, not as environmentally friendly as people may think. I don't know what my product is yet, but so far what I've done is I've taken um, students and I've seen, I wanted to know, do they listen to music while Hey guys, sorry, we're going to have to cut our video a little short, but you can find it on our MRH High School YouTube account. It is called Senior Capstones. And with that, I give it back over to Chance and Jackson. Thank you. The Blue Devils lead 26 to 14 as we welcome you back to the second half of action here. The Blue Devils ripped off an impressive 11-0 run in the latter half of the second quarter there to gain that 12-point lead. Most of that came from Ayana Jones, who especially hit a massive three to end the half. Uh, that is her first three-pointer on the season. But that is a huge momentum play for the Devils to extend that lead. Chance, what are, what are going to be some keys for the Blue Devils to hold this lead in the second half? I think they've got to stay aggressive and they can't get overconfident. It's still a tight match and a lot of those shots were not expected. So just because you got a few good shots doesn't mean you can think, oh, I've got this game, I've controlled it all. That's something that can become very deadly to the Devils. For what sure, do you Chance. think McClure's going to have to use though to keep him off that? Well, first of all, I have to agree with what you said there about not getting complacent. But we saw that happen just in the first quarter. They got out to an early lead. Then the Blue Devils started making some mistakes. But I think that McClure has really just got to limit their own turnovers. Because when they have the ball, they're able to score down low. Uh, the interior defense for the Blue Devils have been somewhat lacking today. But the Cowboys just have to limit their turnovers, get the ball inside, and score. Here's Kiernan. Finds Miller, it's blocked, and Hunt comes down with the board. Here is Harrison, Summer Harrison headed the other way. Here's Zamaya Bradley. She has three fouls and six points in the night. Summer Harrison kicks to Hunt. Hunt for three. It's short. Will bounce out of bounds. The Blue Devils have been willing to concede that look throughout the game. They have let them shoot from the wing. They haven't made one yet, so maybe it's a viable strategy. Here's Jones to Kiernan. Kiernan's got space to drive. Pulls up, shoots over. Hunt, but misses. But it goes off Harrison. will stay here for MRH. Gabby Miller will inbound. They'll set up that box play, the Blue Devils. Here's Jones. She's got a little space. She'll pull up. Off the rim, no. And Johnson with the rebound. Zamaya Bradley will take it down the court. Will slow down at the logo. Here's Hunt. Harrison, back to Hunt. Switching wings here for the Comets. And now Harrison will drive, pulls up. Kiernan tips and comes up with it. That's gotta be Kiernan's sixth steal on the night. She's played some fantastic defense today. Here's Miller, down low to Garneau. She'll drive to the block, puts it up, and in! 10 points for Garneau, that's a season high for number 10. Zamaya so Bradley has Kiernan in her face. She'll cross the halfway line. Interesting thing, Garneau 
Haas doesn't have a great points per game average, but she's really shown how much damage she can do to the enemy in this game. Her and Ayana are performing a very dangerous duo game, facing each other up the scoreboard. Yeah, that they, is something. They have combined for 21 points tonight. They have been the offensive keys for the Devils. Bradley pulls up, no good. Kierden comes up with the rebound, will release Miller. Miller looks to slow it down here. Just take it to the wing, switches it to Jones. Jones will drive, pump fake, down low to Garneau. Garneau is fouled, it looks like. The nice thing to see in basketball games is that there's never really a feeling that the winning team is always trying to win. They're always trying to get points, push the game forward. Staying in their half and playing really defensively. Garneau swishes the first free throw. Garneau has been very good from the line. I believe she is a four for five of the day. Garneau can take the Blue Devils to 30, a mark they have reached only once this year with the shot. It's just short, and Destiny Richardson comes up with the rebound. Finds Bradley, Bradley tries to break the press. She will down low to Hunt, tipped by Keenan though. Very aggressive defense from Ayanna Jones last play. Good to see that even though she might have sustained an injury, it is not stopping her at all. Yeah, she does not look any worse for wear, even on that uh, taped up knee. She has played fantastic today, scoring 11 points. Bradley pulls up. It's long, but Richardson gets the offensive rebound. Will kick to Harrison. Bradley drives on Kiernan, pulls up, blocked by Bowen. Hunt kicks to Bradley. Hunt, Harrison, switches to Bradley, who will drive. The foul is called, blocking foul. Bradley's free throw was off the back of the rim, no good. Maya Bradley has been a very aggressive force in this game, scoring six points, almost half of the points for her team, and really being a menace on defense, stopping Emory from trying to shoot scores and jumping up to block their shots. But she has also been a little too aggressive at times. She has three fouls. She's got to limit those if she wants to stay on the floor. She's clearly one of the Comets' more important players. Miller evades the pressure. Got to get it over half court and does. Finds Kiernan. Here's Garneau. Garneau will put it up over Richardson. It's no good. Destiny Richardson with the rebound. But the pass is too long. Kiernan taps it out of bounds. Got to make sure you got firm control of the ball. Because that thing likes to move forward and doesn't like stopping. So make sure you have full control before you start slowing yourself. We've seen really good ball work from these ladies tonight, throwing it over, passing a lot, moving it around, and some pretty aggressive blocking, working together really well here. And up to pool, here's Hunt. One MRH's better games. Harrison switches to Hunt. Again to Bradley. Drives, Bowling with the block! And it will go the other way. Nice defense by Mariah Bowling. Really using her height again. That's Bullen's MO. She's not exactly a scorer, but she is very good in the paint on defense and will grab you plenty of boards. Here's Kiernan. Nice pass to Miller, up and in. Great vision there by Kiernan. Miller cuts to the basket and is able to have an easy finish off a nice pass from Kiernan. Always good to see a teammate that passes to the open guy. Here is Summer Harrison crossing the line. Jayla Hunt drives on Miller, pulls up. No good, Bolin tips it out of bounds. Bolin clearly upset with herself there. A rare rebounding mistake from number 40. Emory just almost double scored a three point lead, 31 to 14. They have extended the run to 17 nothing, spanning two quarters here. It has been a minute since McClure scores, but speak of the devil. Uh, I believe that was that was Hunt there. 
putting it up and in. She's got four on the night. Here's Jaden Garneau looking to drive on Harrison. Kiernan, bounce pass, can't get it by Bradley, who steals. Bradley beats Wilson off the dribble. We'll pull up at the wing. She'll slow it down. Miller gives her space, she pulls up from three, rims out, but Richardson with the rebound. Hunt, plenty of space up top to Bradley. Harrison switches to Hunt for three. No good. Richardson, another offensive board, up and no. Gabby Miller able to come up with the board finally. And here's Garneau with plenty of space to run the floor. Garneau down low to Wilson, she'll put it up, it's short. Richardson rebounds. Tipped away, Kiernan comes up with it. And the Blue Devils will slow it down. Miller at the top of the key to Wilson. She's got two in her face, throws it up. Bradley picks it off. A panicked turnover from Wilson. Can't have that, gotta be a little bit more composed there. Double dribble. Samaya Bradley picks it up and put it down. Back in the ball game. Jones tied for the game lead with 11 points. Jones and Garneau both have 11 on the night. Miller to Jones. Jones down low to Miller, but tipped away by Poole. Johnson comes up with it. Zamaya Bradley slows it down. Here's Summer Harrison. A lot of long-range passing this game. Something interesting. We didn't see this a lot from the boys team, but it's really being used a lot by the girls. Passing it over people instead of around them. Yeah, the Blue Devils are stacking up the middle, leaving the wings open for the Comets to pass to. And Garneau, it's up no good. Zahava Kiernan offensive board and up and in. The putback layup is good for Zahava Kiernan. She has five. She's played a heck of a game tonight. Just a freshman playing very well. Here's Jayla Hunt. MRH, down low. MRH with over double the points of McClure. Picked off by Kiernan once again. Here is Ayana Jones slowing it down. Down low to Miller. She's got a little space. Nice finish there. <laughs> Little shoulder fake, put it down, power dribble to the cup. Be nice to see Ayana Jones hit her 100. She only needs two more points to reach 100 for the season. Chandler will check in for guard. Uh, we got too many on the court here. Somebody's got to come off. Cardo comes off the floor. Bradley takes it all the way, is fouled going up by Zahava Kiernan. She will go to the line, shoot an and one. Looking to make a three point play here. Bradley has eight on the night, looking for her ninth. Can't finish the three-point play. Bolin with the rebound. Miller, Bradley in her face, but finds Jones. Jones crosses up. Harrison will drive. Kicks to Kiernan. Some nice passing for the Blue Devils. Finds Kiernan. Oh, but a block by Hunt. Kiernan can't find Chandler. Good to see that the Devils aren't particularly favoring one player. And while certain players may be getting more points, they're not specifically targeting those players to only make the shot. If someone gets the ball, they'll take it. And that's something that is a benefit for the Devils because they don't know who's going to make the shot. They can't put their best starters on MRH's best shooter because they don't know who the shooter's going to be. Our yeah, predictability seen, is very powerful. Yeah, we've seen some nice team basketball. Even though that, that last possession did not end up in some points, there was some slick passing from the Blue Devils, ending up with a, with a nice opportunity for, for Kiernan down low. Just wasn't able to finish. McClure's coach doesn't appear happy. 
trying to get her team to play defensively. The, uh, the conference coach there looks like she was trying to get some advice on interior play. Wants to set some screens down at the block, get open layups for her post players. On the floor right now for the McClure Comets, it looks like we have Autumn Harrison, Keela Poole, Jayla Hunt, Zamaya Bradley, and Summer Harrison. Jada Hodge checking into the game for the first time. That's number 23 there. Here's Jayla Hunt. She'll look to drive, pulls up, kicks. Harrison can't make the three. McClure has not connected from range yet tonight. Jones will slow it down. Looks to beat Harrison on the dribble. Hodge trying to set a screen, but too late. Harrison off her shins, but comes up with it. Kicks to Zamaya Bradley. She'll drive. Kicks to Harrison. Hunt. 15-footer yes from the elbow. Coach Miller will call a timeout there. They want to get one more chance to score before the quarter ends. We've got only 20 seconds left in the quarter. MRH leading with 15. The lead is slowly closing. More action from the cheerleaders keeping MRH in the zone. They'll pro this basket right before the end of the quarter is a huge momentum play. They'll probably have a play to run here, get an open shot for one of their scorers, Garneau or Jones. They got 19.5 seconds to get down the court. Coach throwing down his board. Here's Jones, taking her time through the legs. Throws it up, Miller down low, has chance. Pump Ten, fakes, puts it nine, up, eight, and in. Seven. Nice pass by Jones. And good finish by Miller. Two, one, Miller has eight. And that is the end of the third quarter. MRH is leading by 17. And with that, the Blue Devils have 37 in the third quarter. That is their highest total on the season. Their previous, their previous best, I believe, came in the victory over the GSA Gators with 34. In that game, Ayata Jones dropped 26 with 10 rebounds. Tonight, she only has 11, but she has been playing very well. She has been a threat from all over the court, has been pulling up from range. Has the only three-pointer on the night, which came at the tail end of the first half. This uh, third quarter has been a lot more disciplined than the first half. We, we only have three total fouls. Two for the Devils, one for the Comets. We'll look to see if that continues. Here we have Bria Saunders inbounding for the Comets. Quick pass. Zamaya Bradley will drive. Kicks to Harrison. Hunt. Saunders. Hunt has plenty of space in the wing. Elects not to shoot. In the corner to Harrison. Too long. Jones with the rebound. Throwing elbows, clearing space. She looks to break the press herself. No, she outlets to Miller. Miller down low to Jada Hodge. Hodge's attempt is blocked. She puts it up off the iron, no. Gets her own rebound, but gives it up to Bradley. McClure's got seven and a half minutes to turn this game around. 17 points, seven and a half minutes. I reckon they can do it, but they have got to stay in the zone. Shot is missed. Miller comes up with the rebound, winning that ball. It's a crucial rebound to come up with. The outlet pass to Jones. Able to keep it in? No. Good effort there from Jones. Always nice to see. But just unable to keep that ball in bounds. Destiny Richardson checking in there for the comments. We got Bria, Bria Saunders inbounding here. Finds Zamaya Bradley. 
Bradley dribbling through the Devils, puts it up, no good. Miller another rebound, but Bradley pokes it away. Keeps it for the Comets. Punt pulls up from the line, no good. Destiny Richardson offensive board. McClure's really getting aggressive on their shooting now. Trying to get those points up before the end of the quarter. Here's Hunt. Saunders on the wing. Throws it long, but uh, Riley's level to come up with it. Hunt. Saunders. Poked away by Jones. It'll stay here, though. We've had some real solid defense from the Blue Devils, especially in the second half. Only six points allowed in the second quarter there. Or in the third quarter, my apologies. Saunders tosses it up to Hunt. Hunt will drive. Finds Richardson, nice pass. Posts up, can't find space, and finds Bradley instead. Bradley pulls up, it's long. Richardson unable to keep it despite a heck of an effort. Goes barreling into the wall. Happy she's not hurt there. That was a heck of an effort trying to keep that in bounds. Tips by Poole, able to steal it for the Comets, just throws it up. Draws the foul on Ayanna Jones. No Blue Devils in foul trouble just yet. Hopefully that stays true. The shot is over Richardson's outstretched arms. Blue Devils basketball. Around six minutes left on the clock. McClure still needs 17 points. That is if MRA just doesn't score any. Poked away by Saunders, but it'll stay with the Devils. The possession arrow right now favors the Blue Devils. That could be huge. Late game jump balls can be massive momentum swings depending on who the arrow is pointing to. Pass to Garno. Another strong pass there. Saunders gets in her face, pokes it away. Saunders has been playing some nice defense here in the fourth quarter already. It's been in the Blue Devils' faces trying to win that ball. Blue Devils line up at the free throw line, running their inbound play. Got a foul on Hunt here. They'll try it again. They're running the stack play for the Blue Devils. Jones pops out, puts it up. No foul call there, but here it comes. That's a foul on Zamaya Bradley, I believe. Blue Devils will run the stack again. and checking in. Ayana. Oh, and that'll be Jaden Garneau heading to the bench. Kiernan will inbound as they run the box here. Look for Miller to set the screen for Jones. She does. But McClure stays solid in their defense. Jones cannot finish. Kiernan, nice interception. Down low to Jones. Fade away. Yes! Nice finish from Ayana Jones. With that shot, she breaks 100 points Not this. Yet. Not yet, she needs two more. My bad. <laughs> she needs two more to get to 100. You got five and a half minutes for her to do so. She has got to be excited right now. Pretty smooth pass off MRA. It's probably not the intended target, but still pretty smooth. You're falling on the ground. Hodges first personal, fourth team foul for the Devils. Got to be careful, don't want to get in the bonus. That is a great way to let a team back into the game with free throws. There's a kick to Saunders. Sets a screen for Bradley who will put it up and in. Bradley cuts the Blue Devil lead to 17 points. We got a timeout. Bit spacey inbound there from the Blue Devils. Able to come up with it and call the timeout. But Coach Miller drawing something up 
he will want his Blue Devils to finish this game strong. They've had a solid game to this point, but you gotta finish. 17 point lead, sure, but this Comets team can get back in the game at any time. You gotta keep the foot on the gas and finish this game strong. Bring home the second win of the season. MRHSU smooths most of their timeouts, so hopefully in the end, if McClure starts scoring, the game won't get too slow. We got some nice support there from our cheerleaders. Can't shout out to them enough. They, are, they have created a great atmosphere here at this ball game. It is great to have two teams of cheerleaders, both varsity and JV. And with the year, uh, year of COVID, without any basketball at all. It's great to have this fantastic atmosphere tonight. We have Zahava Kiernan inbounding. Blue Devils will stack it up. Finds Hodge, nice pass there. Now here's Kiernan, slick passing there. Finds Miller who will drive. It is stripped away and off Miller's leg. Fun fact, MRH Blue Devils actually got custom sweaters from the MRH Fire Department. Thanks to them for supporting our girls basketball team. It is great to see the community support that uh, Blue Devils basketball has this year, both from the fans and from Maplewood institutions like the Fire Department. Here's Hunt, finds Saunders, Saunders pivots, More. sends it back to Hunt who will drive. More high passing there. Rhea Saunders can't come up with the rebound trips. Nice Whoa. save by Bradley, but it ends up in Kiernan's hands. Or sorry, Hodge's hands. Ball is constantly passing possession. Hunt tries to back down Bowl and puts it up. The bounce is good. Two, Got a kind rim there for uh, Jayla Hunt. Kiernan, here's Jada Hodge. Hodge had some space. Now Bradley in her face. Over and back. I'm right, still leading with 15 points. But this is where you get in danger. That kind of turnover is one you cannot make at this point in the game. Hodges over and back violation, hands the ball to the Comets. That'll send Hodge off, Garneau. We've got the starters on the floor here for the Blue Devils and you gotta think they'll, they'll finish out the game. Nice pick by Kiernan. It'll stay Blue Devils ball. You know, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I would not be surprised if Kiernan is in double digits with steals. She has been fantastic on defense. Oh, but it's tapped away by Poole. Jones comes up with it, but gives it away to Bradley. Tough defense by Jones, but just unlucky there. Go to see MRH fighting for the ball, stopping McClure's advance, and shutting it down. Oh, that's that's dangerous. We got four minutes left. We're halfway through the fourth quarter here. 39-24 Blue Devils. Miller finds Jones. Jones took a little shuffle there. That's a tough call. We've got Caleb Poole to inbound to Zamaya Bradley. Bradley finds Hunt. Hunt to Bradley who will drive. Pulls up, no good. Jones lets it go out of bounds smartly. Quick inbound to Jones. Only two more points needed. Across the line, but it's McClure. picked up by Bradley. She'll go in alone. McClure again coming in there with the aggressive passing, blocking, and stealing. And a jump ball. That'll be Blue Devil possession. Lots of fighting with the ball. Not giving it up. Jaden Garneau, easy inbound to Bolin, who finds Jones. Quick pass to Miller. Miller finds Jones again. Jones will try and drive on pool. The ball is twisted up. 
And Jones with a the foul there. Got to be frustrated about that turnover. That is one of those fouls of frustration you often see in basketball. Got to make sure to keep your cool, though. It's a high school level game, not a championship. A lot of it's just about having fun. The 34 Jones, as her third foul of the night, she's got to stay out of foul trouble in the latter half of the game. The Blue Devils need her on the floor. Three minutes left. MRH still leads with 15 points. They have five fouls, they're dangerously close to getting in the bonus zone. Bradley could drive, floater, ball. no good. Can't keep it in. Zamaya so Bradley has been trying to take the game in her hands a lot in this latter, the latter stages of this one. But it's been tougher. She does lead the way for the uh, McClure Commons with 10 points. Miller across the line, finds an open Jaden Garneau who will drive. Spins on number 13, kicks to Jones for three. Yes! Oh, they rule she stepped over the line. But Ayanna Jones has reached 100 points on the season with that one. That has got to be an accomplishment she is quite proud of. Along with raising MRH's lead to 18. I guess not. A nice pull up jumper there from Hunt. That is the second, she puts herself in double figures, the second comments player to do so. She has 10. Here's Gabby Miller. Down low to Garneau, she has space. Drives on Richardson, puts it up. No good. Kierna can come up with the rebound. Oh. Coaches have got to be getting angry. You've got to make sure to stay straight. You can't be slipping around. Bradley came down awkwardly there. That could be the end for McClure in this game. It's been their most aggressive attack. And with that much extra the push, they might not be able to cover 15 points in only two minutes. Things have got to be getting tight on the sidelines. Bradley coming off, favoring that right knee a little bit. Got to be worried for uh, her and McClure. That shot up from Jones is no good. Wilson, good effort, but can't come up with the rebound. Wilson favoring her left knee a bit. But as Harrison drives, it's up. No good. Jaden Garneau really, with the rebound. Outlet really to Miller. Him. Miller has Jones up ahead. Finds her. She'll drive. It's up. Travel. That's a tough call there. Looked like she could, she kept that ball Travel. moving. Here is Summer Harrison. Got a minute 30 left for the McClure Comets. They've got to get gotta, 15 Got to hurry it up if you're them. Up top, Harrison. Hunt. Got to shoot quicker here. Garneau, nice defense. Hunt. MRI, Jump ball. I'm right just devoted to burning this kind of Looks like with a 15 point lead, only a minute left, the Blue Devils will make wholesale changes. You've been an aggressive team, that's what you want to see. Not, not getting comfortable just because they got the lead. So we've got Acreage, Long, Chandler, Soto and Hodge in. Shot no good. Hodge comes up with the rebound. Looks like Sierra might also oh, have wrong a wrong side there. Turn. Soto tried to score on her own basket. She taps it out, but Hunt comes up with it. One minute left on the clock. Poole puts it up, it's long. Hodge rebounds. Jump ball. The possession arrow points to the Blue Devils. But as these subs come in, we have to give props to our starters here today. Gabby Miller, Jaden Garneau, Zahava Kiernan, uh, Ayanna Jones, and Mariah Bowen all played some fantastic games tonight. Special props to Zahava Kiernan and Ayanna Jones, who both played fantastic on both sides of the ball. Jones led the way with 15 points, but here's Tori Chandler, puts it up no good. 
clock is winding. We got 40 seconds left. Chandler, some aggressive defense with the foul there. But this type of game is one that is really encouraging to the Maplewood coaching staff. This team is very young. Only two seniors in the lineup today, and that would be Jones and Chandler. But only with those two seniors, we have seen a great performance here from the Devils. This young squad putting it all together. It's really great to see, and hopefully they keep up this momentum in the conference games to come in the next week. With 30 seconds left, the second win against teams of... Tory Chandler, the bank is open, folks. That one off the backboard extends the lead to 17. Harrison drives, punt, blocked. Tries to put it back up, we'll just dribble it out. Harrison, five seconds, puts it up. It's good. But the clock will run out on this one. And the Blue Devils take home a 43-28 victory. Their second win by a lead of 15 points. They have got to be happy right now. Very good performance from the MRH Blue Devils. 43-28 win. Some great scoring up and down the lineup. Good defense, good offense. They played their game and it showed. you got to be happy if you're an MRH fan tonight. Uh, the Blue Devils will look to carry this momentum into a Friday night matchup against their conference opponent, the Bayless Broncos. We will be bringing that game to you live, both the boys and girls games that night. We hope you will tune in with us. Again, that is Friday night versus Bayless. I believe the girls game starts at four o'clock. The boys will play at 5.30. We will be right here, same channel, same station. We hope you tune in. Uh, Thanks to my partner Chance and the crew back there, Sam Peeler, Eliza Agers. They've done a fantastic job today. And make sure not to miss it. It's going to be a fun one. Thank you very much for tuning in. And that is all from me, Jackson Corcoran, signing off tonight with Blue Devils Basketball.